What's going on guys? Insane juggling out with another video here and uh have not made a video for Super Bowl promo yet. It's Friday. Time to get one in, baby. Um as you can see in the title, I'm about to show you guys how I made three million coins off of one set. Let's go to the team, show off the card, and then I'll explain. Uh as you can see here, there he is, man. 99 Danny Randy White, sorry, Randy White, uh, former defensive tackle for the Cowboys. I think, uh, what this card for Super Bowl 13, um, Super Bowl 12. Yeah, uh, Randy White had a sack and uh, he helped them win the Super Bowl. This card is amazing, best D tackle in the game by far. I think he's probably gonna be the best D tackle that comes out all of this year, better than any ultimate legend. Just my opinion with the boost and everything. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I don't think there's going to be a better D-tackle in the game to come out. But he has 87 speed. Crazy. Crazy for a D-tackle. 87 speed. 99 strength, 90 agility, 99 acceleration, 99 awareness, 99 tackling. Very uh decent 93 pursuit. 89 hit power, 87 power moves. Very good 95 finesse moving, 95 block shedding, as well as a pretty good 93 play rec. This, this D-tackle is... Man, he's crazy. And uh, especially if you're running a 3-4 defense, he's the guy that you want to anchor. Um, not many offensive linemen that can move that guy. So, the way I did that set, I'm just going to use uh, this Von Miller example, which we are going to talk about in a little bit. But I'm going to use card as an example. Uh, the Randy White only needed 10 elites and 10 golds. What I did was I just sniped gold players all day. Uh, right now, gold players are super cheap. Because the elites went down in value, and now these Super Bowl legends are, <laughs> man, I'll talk about him in a minute. But anyway, because of all this, goals have lost value. But when Randy White and all those came out, goals were going for about 14, 15k. What I did was I sniped all the goals for 10k a piece. So if you're doing the math on that, you need 25 uh, goals to do the elite Super Bowl player set. So I spent 250k on each elite card at the time when Randy White was out. They were going for 330k, so I saved about 80k on each elite player, and um, I ended up getting all 10 for 250k. Didn't get any good pulls, but we wasn't really looking for good pulls. Just was trying to get the elites for the Randy White set. And then uh, once I had the 10 elite players, I just sniped the 10 goals. That was the easiest. So it uh ended up spending 2.6 mil on Randy White. A lot of people sold him the day they got him, or uh, tried to sell him the day after. I'm holding on to Randy White for a long time. Right now, he is going for six point five million. I only spent two point six, so after tax, I made about three point three mil on Randy White. Gonna hold on to him. He'll definitely go over ten mil. In my opinion, he'll go over 10 mil. Uh, and once people start making their coins back, because uh, obviously it's been a drought between Pro Bowl and um, Super Bowl. So once people uh, make their coins back, these cards are going to rise in value anyway, just because that's how everything works. The block is not inflated right now. So these guys are uh, going for a pretty low amount. But once uh, everything gets inflated again, and people have more coins in the market, then everything's going to rise back up in value. So <clears throat> this Randy White would be worth more definitely later on. Coins are just happen to be worth more right now because uh, they're in low low supply. But um, now that we got that out the way and I explained how I made my coins off of that Randy White card, let's talk about uh, today's players. Super Bowl legend is Von Miller. Everybody already has 99 domination Von Miller. The only difference between that Von Miller and this Von Miller, he has like plus one in speed, and he has decent coverage stats. That's about it. He has worse stats as a 3-4 linebacker. He has some stats that make him viable in the 4-3. Pretty much it. Uh, really disappointing. Can't believe they actually released another Von Miller. And... Uh, if you look at the limited edition player, it's James Harrison. Now, 
if you guys didn't watch Super Bowl 43, James Harrison was a key player in the game because he had a 100-yard pick six. A 100-yard pick six. Uh, back in Mutt 12, yeah, I'm going way back. The reason his car was so good was because they gave him insane coverage stats since he did get a pick six, and they gave him really good speed since he got a 100-yard pick six. Now, if you look at this card here, and you look at the stats, let me just see the explanation. And yeah, ended the first half with a 100-yard interception return TD. And look at the stats. Like, they are, they even have it on the back of the card. And look at the stats. 82 speed. 71 man and 76 zone. I really just don't understand how a guy who got a 100-yard pick six in the Super Bowl, that's what he was known for in Super Bowl 43, and you give him the same stats you give any other James Harrison card you release into the game. You can't even give him 85-ish 80, 80, zone coverage and maybe 85 speed. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, it really just makes no sense at all. Every other James Harrison card that got released this year, including the Thanksgiving uh, Hero and the all the other ones, they all look... Exactly the same at stats wise as this card. You should have gave this James Harrison way better coverage and, and decent speed. Uh, this really doesn't make sense. I don't understand how the Super Bowl James Harrison, which is the only James Harrison card that should have good coverage stats, you guys failed to give him good coverage stats at all. Um, not sure how much he's going for in the auction block, but I know he has to be going for very little. So let's check out James Harrison's price here. Probably will be around five or six mil, I'm sure. If we're lucky, he'll probably be less. Ten, nine, yep. Are you the cheapest one? Seven, six point five, six, five point six. Yep, five point six million. And that's still great for right now, but I'm just saying this card should be going for way more if they did it right. And they bombed on this card to me. Um for them to just make Super Bowl James Harrison have stats like this, it really doesn't make sense at all. I just don't understand it. Um, man. <clears throat> and then, to top it all off, another 99 Von Miller that you can replace your 99 Von Miller, who you can't auction off with this 99 Von Miller, who's probably not even better. Wow. I'm done writing, man. It's been your boy, Insane Juggernaut, with another video. <laughs> I'm signing out, man.